Hello, I am one month sober today. One month down, five to go. So anyone who doesn't know, I'm doing a sponsored sober six months for NACOA, which is the National Association for Children of Alcoholics. I wanna start by saying thank you so much to everyone who sponsored me, because so far we are on 1,321 pounds and eight pence. Again, I'm gonna do another one. So thank you very much for that. Um, this little video blog thing is a reflection on my first month of sobriety. If anyone's interested a bit more in what I'm doing and why, there are previous ones, but this one is gonna, well, me trying not to just moan about how miserable and hard it's been, I will try and I will also try to keep it brief. Um, so, first of all, what kind of a sadist, lunatic, idiot decides to take on a six month sobriety challenge whilst working in two pubs? Yeah, so that's been a little bit tough. Um, what it has taught me is a couple of things. I have remembered something I actually found out about myself a long time ago, but I had forgotten is that I am a little bit afraid of drunk people. Um, as a child of an alcoholic myself, alcohol was a bad word in my house growing up. And um, yeah, it's the unpredictability of, of drunkenness, uh, the fact that anything could be said, done, kick off at any time. <clears throat> Excuse my croaky voice. Um, so yeah, I have realized that I was quite often the drunkest person in a situation because then I wouldn't have to deal with that I was the one being ridiculous and I wouldn't have to be worried or, or feel vulnerable it's the vulnerability of it and the anxiety of, of other people's unpredictable behavior so there's that also um I've realized I have got notes this time we've got lots to say um I've realized that I um it's hard to know where the energy what to do with the energy now that I can't have a drink. So when I'm at work, if someone's a bit rude as, as it's late and they're drunker, um, in the past, it would have been more oil off a duck's back, poss probably because I'd had a drink. Or if somebody did say something that would wind me up, I would have a drink. But now I've been left feeling very wounded, again, vulnerable and um, shaky. Like I've shook, I've shaken with rage. I've been like, oh my God, I'm so angry. What do I do? Um, you know, when ordinarily you'd pour yourself a, a stiff a stiff gin and um, get on with it. And I haven't been able to do that. So yeah, where does the energy go? And obviously I'm trying to meditate and exercise and do all these things. But in that moment, what do you do with the energy? So I've ended up going home and having a lot of baths because <laughs> I can't have a drink. Um, <clears throat> so there's that. Uh, second thing to know, sorry, I'm trying not to drop this computer, is that I am now legit psychic. So I have predicted two situations the day before they occurred. So just saying, give up booze, become psychic. Um, a friend said it's probably more that I am an empath. Um, and so very intuitive. And actually, that's quite a burden to bear. So I've perhaps needed to drink to take the edge off that. Um, knowing what's going to happen and what people are going through and taking on all of that has been quite a lot. So I've needed I've needed a drink. And also the drink in turn has then dulled my super senses, which now totally alert. So yeah, psychic. <laughs> um, it's also been nice to note that I am actually, aside from, you know, a bit of misery. <laughs> I am actually the same person, drunk and sober, which is good to know. A uh, game of would you rather with a stranger in the pub has taught me uh, that I just am, I just say ridiculous things, not because I'm drunk, but because they are actually what is in my brain and they fall out of my mouth whether I've had a drink or not. So that's good to know. Can't blame the booze for that anymore. Um, this interesting quote, they say that you're Worst day sober is better than your best day drunk. I don't know who they are, but I can tell you from my extensive research that that is not true <laughs> at all. But I have to know that there is a lot of seriously mad things going on in my life right now. 
and facing them sober with a clear head is definitely the way to go and beyond that if I was drinking I would have raised all kinds of hell by now so I think that that is good it's good it's hard but it's good um finally I just want to say thank you a thousand times thank you to everyone who's been there for me who's listened to me moan um who's made me mocktails the psychology of juice in a martini glass i swear down i felt drunk after two so thank you for that um and shots of uh, apple juice behind the bar instead of tequila to make me feel included all of these little efforts are so appreciated um but in all honesty there have been some times when i really really and i can't stress the word really could have done with a gin or a big glass of red and the only, only reason why I haven't reached for it is because of your sponsorship. Genuinely. I don't want to let the charity down. And I don't want to let you down. So, thank you. Honestly, the only reason why I've made it through this month. And if anybody, I know a lot of you have said, oh, I will get around to sponsoring you. I will, I will, I will. Thank you very much. Please do. Because, yeah, this is, this is tough. I don't mean to harp on, but... I'm finding this really hard. It is really hard. And your sponsorship is what's getting me through. So thank you so, so, so much. Um, but they say the first month is the hardest. Um, so made it through the worst of it. And as you can see, I am glowing with my perfect skin and twinkly eyes. And I'm so svelte and healthy now. <laughs> Not true. I really need to stop eating cake instead of booze. I've kind of done that. I was saying replacing bourbon for bourbons. It's not the one, I just need to cut it out altogether. So that's next month's mission, um, is to stop treating myself for not boozing. You just like not do anything bad. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Um, but yeah, thank you so, so much again. Um, yeah, one month sober. A wooga!